Your addiction to pornography is working. Yes, you heard me say that correctly. Your use and consumption and addiction to pornography is working. Because if it wasn't, it wouldn't be a struggle and challenge for you trying to break free. And I know that may be counterintuitive to what you think. You think that this thing is not helping you in any way. You think it's not solving any of your problems. But here's the truth about all addictions. All addictions work until they eventually stop working. And oftentimes it takes the stop working, which men experience as rock bottom crisis moments. They experience loss of relationships, loss of jobs. A true rock bottom is maybe when it stops working. But if you haven't yet reached that point and begin to become radically honest with yourself. See, recently I was having a conversation with a gentleman that had reached out about some services and he was interested in coaching and he had been telling me that this is something that he struggled with for over a decade of his life. This was a very young, in shape, good looking man, a man that shouldn't struggle in this world. And through our application and inquiry process, we wanna make sure that we find the right type of men to help because in five years now, we've landed on the exact type of men that we know we can help. And his response to why he was struggling to break free was because he didn't have anything fun and engaging in his life. So it, it triggered me, it piqued my curiosity. Well, is porn fun? And he said, no. So you're lacking fun, meaningful, engaging activities over here on this one side, but yet the struggle and challenge that you use to supplement or take care of those things is also not fun. And I could see why he was struggling. He had massive cognitive dissonance. He wasn't being truthful. He wasn't being honest with himself. We have to be radically truthful and honest with ourselves. Porn is solving a problem in your life. And up until the point when you wake up and decide that you're going to break free from it, it will continue to solve those problems. Now, it may not solve them in the best possible way, but you and I both know that porn does alleviate stress. It does curb for the short moment the feelings of anxiety, of isolation, of loneliness. Now, the problems come with secondary side effects, and oftentimes those side effects and impacts and negative effects are more harmful than the problems that we were dealing with on the first case. But up until the point that you wake up, take responsibility and decide that you're done for this once and for all, you got to be honest and telling yourself that it is solving the problem. Now that's one of many lies that men tell themselves. Some men tell themselves that porn isn't a real problem. Some men tell themselves that it isn't impacting their relationships. Some men tell themselves that it is impacting their mental health. Some men tell themselves that it is impacting their physical health. Some men tell themselves that it isn't impacting the way that they say people. But I think the biggest lie we tell ourselves is it's not working. All addictions work until they stop working. And the stop working of addiction oftentimes are those rock bottom moments. That's been my goal and mission since day one is to help men not reach those moments in their life, not have to experience what I experience, the loss of a business, the financial impact of losing well over six figures, the loss of every single important relationship that I had in my life through my 20s and into my early 30s. Now I had to have a moment of honesty and clarity with myself. Back in 2018, I had to look myself in the mirror and say, Frank, you are the person that is responsible for all the problems in your life. Frank, you are the person that is responsible for breaking this addiction. But it wasn't until I had that honest conversation with myself that I was able to see this for what it truthfully was. Now, the truth about your addiction, like I said, is that it is solving a problem. But how do you identify what that problem is in order to be able to equip yourself with better solutions moving forward? You need to audit your life. You need to audit and get clear on the last four, five, six times that you've consumed pornography. What was your mental state? What was your emotional state? What was your physical state? What was your location in time? Was it solving a mental issue? Fear, loneliness, isolation. Was it solving an emotional state, inadequacy, low confidence? 
Now, yes, porn addiction will lead to lower and lower confidence, but oftentimes it's in those low confident moments about ourselves that we seek some type of engaging, high stimulating activity to get us out of it. We know in the moments of consuming it that it's a massive rush of dopamine and adrenaline running through your body. So how do you get clear on what the problem is that you're solving? You gotta ask yourself the very important, difficult questions. This is where journaling on a daily basis can be one of the most profound habits that you begin to build. What is that inner dialogue that is constantly going through your head? How are you speaking about yourself? How are you speaking to yourself in the very important moments? What are you telling yourself when you're alone? What are you running from? Are you avoiding doing the difficult work that is laying in front of you? Then porn is solving that problem as a distraction. It's keeping you distracted when you should be engaging in hard, meaningful task. Is porn a pacifier that you suck on when you're alone and isolated, like a childish type of behavior? In those moments, porn is serving as a relationship for you, a very unhealthy substitute of a relationship, but it is working. So I think the takeaway here in this episode is, man, we have to get honest. Porn is working. And until we identify what the problem is that it is solving, we will never be able to actually create a pathway out of it. Now, if you want some help in getting clear on some of these steps, we put together a free training on our blueprint framework, the 12 steps, the new 12 steps to overcoming pornography. This, and this is the foundation for all of our work that has helped a thousand plus men at this point break the chains of this addiction rebuiltrecovery.com. Visit this website, rebuiltrecovery.com forward slash 12 steps. You get access to the training. It is very actionable and able to be executed upon immediately. But until you get radically honest, until you identify what the problem is and you tell the truth to yourself that porn is working, just like fast food works, just like alcohol works, just like drugs work, just like gambling works, just like video games work, just like shopping works. Every compulsive addictive behavior that somebody struggles with in their life solves a problem until it stops solving that problem. Now you can wait until you get to that point and hit a rock bottom, or you could wake up today, take control, take charge of your life, quit porn and become the man that you were called to be. Visit rebuiltrecovery.com forward slash 12 steps to get a blueprint on how to take ownership of your life, on how to build a life that is porn free, and on how to become the man that no longer struggles with this addiction. Coach Frank Rich here at The Rebuilt Man. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.